want to talk a little bit about what, what caused the financial crash in the first place. So you have home ownership, uh, private home ownership, that's been pushed um, ideologically and culturally, both in the US and the UK, and encouraged through mortgage products. Um, and as, as people know here, ultimately this led, up, led to the ratcheting up of unsustainable debt and, and on an individual and a global scale, and ultimately led to the crash of 2008. Um, in London, before the crash, um, for some years already, we had, we had the rollback of the welfare state, sell-off of council housing, um, the stripping of the very few rights that private renters had, and something particular to the UK, the buy-to-let mortgage, which led to a, a rapid rise of landlordism and profiteering through housing. So in London already, prior to the crash, you had a situation uh, where there was not enough council housing or social housing, and housing had become something that was treated as a commodity or something to make a profit from, rather than as a home for people to live in. And as you know, after the crash, things got much worse in London. Um, London's buoyant property market um, and bricks and mortar in the city were attractive to investors looking for a safe investment. And speculation, buying and selling of housing for profit, then spiralled out of control, pushing house prices and rents up even further. And all over the city, we've had these luxury developments popping up that nobody wants or needs, that ordinary people can't afford to live in, that are also often being left empty. And house prices soaring out of control, way out of step with, people's, with ordinary people's incomes. And austerity made things much, much worse for ordinary people. Government austerity led to, led to councils uh, selling off inner city, inner city estates to re release their land values. Benefit cuts meant the working class people could no longer afford to live in the city. So you had this change to the social fabric of the city, um, social cleansing of London. And we have millions of people now stuck in private rented housing, paying high rents with basically worse, consume, worse rights. You have, more consume, you have better rights when buying a fridge than you do when renting a home. There's not enough council housing. Homes are too expensive. Um, you have a government that's, that's, you know, doing things which can only make the problem worse, like schemes like uh, Help to Buy, which are only kind of keeping house prices high and making things worse. But as housing and the role of housing in the economy cause the crash, it can be at the center of building resistance. Housing is at the center of our society that's becoming much, much more unequal. Um, and there's a politicization around housing. We're all living ha London's housing crisis every day. It's a crisis for everyone except developers and investors and landlords. And I want to say to that that there's a new renters movement that's growing, that's standing up to landlords, that's organising renters in the city to transform housing through collective action. We want housing to be seen as a social good. And lots of people all over London who know that something's gone very wrong with housing agree. So, so I'm from London Renters Union. We're a new union. We launched this summer. We have branches in Newham, Lewisham and Hackney and we're growing fast all over London. We're building thriving community branches. Um, we're supporting each other. We're taking direct action to solve our members' issues with landlords disrepair, with rent, uh, we're stopping evictions, we're part of a campaign to end Section 21, um, to end evictions through Section 21 notices. And we're building a movement to demand decent, secure homes for all, for an end to racism and other forms of discrimination in access to housing, for no borders in housing. We're calling for homes for people, not profit, for public investment in public housing. And we know that many, many people, many, many Londoners and people across the country agree. So join us and get involved in building a renters movement here in London. And join the London Renters Union.